video, I had you guys DM me things that you're thinking of buying, and I'm gonna tell you if I think they're worth it or not, if I would buy them, if I think you should get something else, yada, yada, yada. This video was inspired by Paige Wassel. I've done it a few times, though. I always like to give credit. Oh, and before we get into this video, I wanted to say thank you so much to Desenio for sponsoring. The first item I got asked about wasn't by a subscriber, but by my best friend, Katie. She's wondering if she should get these prints from Desenio. She's shopped from Desenio before using my code, and I always think that adding more prints to your home, no matter the place, is a great move. So if you guys don't know what Desenio is, they make high quality, affordable wall art. I've talked about them before and have so many pieces of theirs around my house. Desenio has launched a new ambassador collection with Danny Clark, a playful, whimsical, and totally unique print collection. The prints in this collection allow you to incorporate more playfulness to a minimalistic home by choosing a character piece. I picked a few pieces from her collection as well as some other ones and I really like this classic style mixed with a playful feel. Desenio offers a trendy, high quality and affordable prints and frames and updates its collection regularly. They ship to countries worldwide, including the US within two to four business days. They're FSC certified and prints are on high quality, sustainable produced paper. If you guys want to check out Desenio, you can get 45% off the prints and 10% off frames and personalized prints with the code Laney. It's valid until midnight on July 7th. So again, use the link in the description box or go to Desenio senyo.com and use code Laney for 45% off prints and 10% off frames. Thanks so much to Desenio for sponsoring. Let's get into the rest of the video. The Peachy Den Mimi skirt. Almost anything from Peachy Den I'm normally gonna say yes to. I seriously just adore their stuff. This is what I think it is, then it's already a yes. This is not what I thought it was. Okay, so I think the Mimi skirt comes in a couple different lengths. There's the mini and the midi. I think that if you wear more sporty or like gorp Esque items or you're wearing it for camping or stuff like that. I think it's a definite yes any of the like peachy den Mimi items I think that the Mimi line from peachy den can be hard to style in the way that they do with like leather boots and like dressed up Sometimes I just feel a little like odd in that kind of wear But I think if you're wearing it in more of a sporty way, it's a definite yes. So cute I love peachy den and the Mimi skirts on sale right now But I can see that they don't have a lot of sizes if you're thinking of getting any of the Mimi items, I think they're discontinuing them. You can find pretty similar things on like Poshmark, honestly, and eBay. If you search like camping skirt or like LL Bean mini skirt, um, even like White Sierra is another good brand. If you want this like swishy material, it's like a camping kind of feel or like if you go on Depop, you could probably search like Gorp Core Skirt and something similar would come up and probably under a hundred bucks. So if they don't have your size, but if you don't want to do the work and they have your size on Peachy Den. Okay, the next one I got is another brand that like is so popular and just so cute right now. Been eyeing all the Paloma Wool bags and this is the Paloma Wool Square Tea Bag, $523, which is crazy. Maybe that's not crazy. That's just a lot. I did not know it was that much. I thought it was like 200 bucks. This is really pretty and I like that you can wear it crossbody and on the shoulder. If you're looking to invest in a purse, I think that this is a great one. It's like trendy right now just because of the big buckle, but I don't think it's something that you would wear in a few years when it's like not peak trendiness and you wouldn't like it. I think you'd still like it. It's a pretty basic bag. Um, If you're looking to invest in a in a purse. This one's great. I've never tried Paloma Wool, period. I don't think I've ever tried anything, which is crazy because I like so much of their stuff. I can't really speak on the quality or anything like that. But if you want a cheaper version of this, I have the Poppy Listman bag that looks pretty similar and I think it's around a hundred bucks. Do what you want with that information. And I really like Poppy Listman as well. Next one, Black Caviana Slim Square Flip Flops. I have to look these up. Okay, yeah, this is what I thought it was. <sighs> I think Javianas are fine, like just the flip-flop, obviously, it's just a flip-flop. I don't think I'm ever gonna be someone who's like gonna style a flip-flop. I think if I'm putting a flip-flop on, it's just like to go to the pool or the beach and like have a easy look. I mean, they're 34 bucks, so I feel like you couldn't go wrong with them. But I don't know, something like a flip-flop, I don't like when it's like changed a little bit and made to look trendy. So like, I really don't like the square toe on these flip-flops. That's just a personal thing. I, I just don't like them. To me, it's like a flip-flop is 
the way it is for a reason. And like trying to make it a square toe is like, it's like a heeled sneaker, if that makes sense. And if you like a heeled sneaker, that's fine. But I just, I don't. So I would say get a normal pair of Fabianas before you get these square toe ones. Next, Onitsuka Tigers. I have no idea where you're getting your Onitsuka Tigers. I'm pretty sure Onitsuka stopped selling to the US. So if you're trying to get them off a brand like Kix Crew, they're fake, they're not real. but I'm sure you can still get them on like goat and stuff like that. I think if you're getting them for retail price, 100%, they're such a good shoe. I have my yellow ones and I wish I bought another pair before the site came crashing down. Um, I personally find them really comfy. I find them comfier than a Samba and I think they're just like a non-offensive, easy shoe. If you want something that you'd probably wear, I don't know, I say like peak trendiness, but like wearing my Sambas and people say they're not cool anymore. So if you like them, you like them. You'll know You'll know to get them. Maybe don't get the yellow ones though. <laughs> Those are like very trendy. I have the yellow ones and they're a little bit harder to style than I thought. I thought they'd be really easy to style, but I always just end up reaching for a black or white Samba. Okay, somebody said Capri's and I wanted to do a whole video on this where it'd be like, don't buy this, DIY that. And I'm normally not like a big for a flipper DIYer girly anymore just cause I don't have the time. It can take really long, but I have some like thrift flip things I do that are super fast and simple and like don't even qualify as thrift flip. But one of those is capris. If you're thinking of buying capris, do not buy them. I'm sure in your closet, if you like capris, you have something similar, whether that's just like a long pair of athletic leggings, maybe even a printed pair of like boot cut pants, skinny jeans maybe still in your closet, or you have like a kick flare pair of pants. Just roll them up and start wearing them like that and see if you like it before you buy a pair of capris. I do think though capris, if you're able to get out to the thrift store, they're such an easy thing to find. I remember the thrift store was just flooded with capris, especially before they became like trendy. So so I say before you buy a pair of capris, just try it out with your pants. Um, that's a really easy thing to try before you buy. This is just a trench coat and it's $340, 30% off right now on Essence, originally like 500 bucks. I can see the appeal of getting just like a big nice coat like this somewhere nice and you like know it's gonna be nice. I know Frankie Shop is pretty well known for their coats and like trendy coats. This is just something that you can so easily find on eBay or secondhand and um, dare I say it's probably better quality. If you just search on secondhand market for a like wool coat, just search 100% wool coat, wool trench, you will find this for probably around the like $100 mark. Tops, I would say around like 50 bucks you could find this coat and it'll still be amazing quality. I know that this one has like a very oversized boxy feel, but just look in the men's like secondhand. I, I wouldn't buy this. I know it's easier just to get it, but you're gonna save so much money. Platform sandals. I've been seeing so many of these cutie platform sandals, just the classic Steve Madden, like vintage Steve Madden ones. And I'm so into them and I really wasn't last year, but I don't know why I'm really into sandals this year and just like not wearing a sneaker. I think they're really cute, like elevated look from a slide. I don't know if they would be super comfortable. I have like the Clarks as my go-to sandal this summer and I think they're really cute, but yeah, these little black slinky sandals are so cute. They have them at like Target. It's really inexpensive and they're really cute. They look like vintage um, style or you can find them secondhand, obviously. Timberland Noreen 3i boat shoe. Okay, we got the boat shoe. If you're thinking of getting a boat shoe, they're so cute. I really like them. Okay, but these Timberland ones, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't like the bottom. I don't like how they're almost like healed. And I look at a boat shoe and I've been like this when I wore them in middle school. I, I don't like a lug sole bottom and I think I'm so against a lug sole bottom now just because we've seen so many of them maybe. I don't know, like even Doc Martens, I'm not into the platform anymore. I don't have any, but I am I like just like the regular height. So I think if I was to get a boat shoe, I would get a Sperry. I just don't think you can go wrong with like, like if you're gonna get a Mary Jane or if you're gonna get a combat boot, like, and you, you're gonna spend the money, like these Timberlands are expensive, the Doc Martin one, like get the original. If you're gonna get a boat shoe, get a Sperry. Like to me, they do it the best, the original creator. And I'm not saying Sperry's were even the original boat shoe. Maybe they were, maybe they weren't. But like when you think of a Sperry topsider or when you think of a boat shoe, you think of a Sperry. Even like Mew Mew giving you a Sperry, like that's just for rich people who wanna blow their money. Like, come on, let's go. Let's go get a real Sperry. So I really like these Timberlands besides the bottom. So I would say if you're gonna get a boat shoe, just get a Sperry. I don't think it's 
that different of a price you can probably find them secondhand also but yeah i get the appeal of these i do but i am so nitpicky where like that bottom with that weird gap i'm sorry but i do like a boat shoe okay this is a fun one somebody said quote unquote running ballerinas I almost call them more of like a mary jane because normally they're pretty strappy but they're like an athletic version i don't know i see so far and few that i like a few from puma like vintage ones are pretty cute they said, I'm scared everyone's gonna hate them in like five months. Everyone will. Those are two like polarizing of a shoe where literally in the spring, people are gonna be like, what were we thinking wearing these? And like, it's not time yet to do that. We were not allowed to do that yet. But if you really like them, you shouldn't care what everybody else thinks. So that's kind of my take on that. Um, if you're questioning what everyone's gonna think about them in five months, do not get them because everyone's gonna hate everything in five months. Somebody's gonna go on TikTok and it's gonna go viral and they're gonna be like, aren't blue jeans the worst? What? Okay, somebody said the tabby boots and I see a couple for tabbies, like the Mason Margiela tabbies. Think about when you started liking them because when I first saw them, I'm gonna be so honest, the first time I saw them was only a couple years ago. I did not like them at all. I thought they were really ugly and I was like, these are weird, why would I like these? And now I've seen them so much where I'm like, they're so cute, I love them. That doesn't mean I really like them. I always talk about this, but you gotta think the first time you saw an item, the first time you saw a trend and think about what you thought of it, don't think, of, oh, when I saw it 800 times and on seven people that I already liked their style, yeah, then I started liking it and now I really like it. Like, just think when you started liking it. If you liked it the first time you saw it, go for it. But also, do you guys see how tabbies, because this was something else that made me stop and think, you have to like, when you get your tabbies, you have to take them to a cobbler and get the bottoms ready to walk in. If I'm spending that much money on a shoe, I want them to be ready to walk in. I don't know if the boots are the same, but I know the like ballet flats and pumps are like that. That's kind of crazy. And like, why did we just accept that? And I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm so lazy. I would just wear them and then they would break and they get beat to SHIT so fast. It's not like it's a shoe that lasts forever if you don't get it fixed. Okay, we're gonna have to finish this tomorrow. We're going so old school because we're ending this video off with the G7X. Can you guys tell the quality difference? I can't plug a mic into this camera, so that's a big one but this first dm stood out to me because the person said i'm obsessed over buying this bag i'm a mother of a one-year-old can i justify such an impractical bag and it's this chain like metallic bag but it's crossbody, and I don't think it's impractical at all, especially for a mom. I think if your bag's crossbody, you're already being so much more practical. I carry, let me show you the bag I'm carrying right now. And then this will tell you if this bag is impractical. This is my everyday bag with a toddler. I just put it like this around my wrist and it has a crossbody. it's from Versa bags but I just like it with the top handle. So that's how I carry it. And I make it work because it's worth it to me to do that so i do not think that this metallic bag is impractical at all i think it's so cute and if you're wearing like a really plain jane outfit you could be wearing this with like pajamas you know and like this bag would make your outfit look so cute i say 1000 percent get it it's 100 bucks i don't think that's like horrible for just, like a chain mail bag those are pretty expensive honestly i know this is like bigger chain mail but i really like this bag i definitely think you should get it i'm such I'm so into a chain strap right now for crossbody as well. This person also said also bloomers. They said, I'm insecure about the size of my thighs sometimes. If bloomers are short, I feel like they exaggerate it. But I love the look under a baggy t-shirt. Any ideas for something similar? If you don't even have the item and you already think you're going to feel uncomfortable in it, don't get it you're never gonna wear it it's gonna be a piece that like you're buying for your fantasy self something similar to a bloomer even like a ruffle skirt would be cute you could always try like a lace slip skirt under a baggy t-shirt and just have that lace peeking through you could do you know white like a bloomer or like a black lace slip skirt it's just having like a cutesy something peeking from under also like boxer shorts could be really fun like a red and white striped boxer short um to peek under a t-shirt that's like kind of a similar vibe and can be a little bit baggier and longer so maybe those are okay ideas next one something that is so trendy right now so i could see why you'd be like hemming and hawing about it are cheetah print they said baggy jeans i feel like i know exactly what pants you're talking about right now <laughs> they're jeans that everyone has i don't know it's it's kind of the same of like the super trendy thing if you saw it the first time and knew you loved cheetah print jeans i have a pair of more like boot cut kick flare cheetah print jeans 
and I'm obsessed with them. They do not seem trendy to me. They just seem like a practical pair of jeans. So sometimes when like getting something that's super trendy, try to stray away from the like exact one that everyone's getting. So everyone's getting like these baggy cheetah print jeans. Maybe get a kick flare, maybe get a capri, maybe get one with a smaller print. You know, just try and get something different. Normally, if you just go like a vintage route or like a secondhand route, you're good to go. This person said Sambas, duh. And so many people said Sambas. And like, they're a classic shoe. I don't care what anybody says. Are they timeless? No, we're gonna look at them and think exactly of this era in our lives. Like, you can't tell me we're not. But I think they're a classic shoe and like, you can get away with wearing them forever. Just like, people can still wear like Air Force Ones right now and nobody like looks at them and is like, you don't know what you're doing. Like Air Force Ones are a classic shoe. Are they trendy right now? No. I think Sambas will be the same way. Honestly, I can't wait till everyone falls off the Samba train and I'm gonna go crazy and be wearing them all the time. I already do wear them all the time, but I, I like it when people fall out of a trend. Like I'm still standing strong in it. So if you like them, get them. They're a great shoe and they're a sneaker. Like it's not like getting a platform like those Marc Jacob like platform heels. Maybe you think are really cool, but you'd never wear it. You're gonna wear your Sambas. This one was actually so funny to me because I've been thinking about them. They said boxing boots. Boxing boots were literally so trendy, what, two summers ago? And they fell off the face of the earth. I feel like those Depop resellers are not getting those $500 anymore for boxing boots. And this person had a little cat emoji with hard eyes next to it. So, if you love them that much to use a cat eye heart emoji, get them! Who am I to stop you? I especially think you're gonna get a deal on them now, or even if you wait a little bit longer, you'll get a good deal on them. You've liked them for this long. Will I ever be getting them? No, because you can't catch me lacing up boxing boots. I think they have zippers on them though, probably. I don't know, I can't even get myself to wear like boots regularly. That's too much work for me. Okay, then some people were able to just send pictures. So I loved that. This is a vintage BBY2K shirt on eBay for 15 bucks. I think that this looks really pretty. It's off the shoulder, really pretty ruffles, like a nice chiffon. It looks sheer ruffle. There's so many ways to style this shirt. Denim, mini skirt, a chiffon like floral skirt, bloomers, denim shorts, cheetah print pants. Okay, then we have a long champ bag, long chomp, I'm not saying that. Then we have a long champ, long chomp, long chomp. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, I'm gonna see I'm stupid. This literally looks like the bag I just picked up, but this one says green on the um, description, but it's a little red top handle. I'm so into a top handle. I love a top handle right now with a crossbody. I'm not wearing my crossbody with my top handle, but I like having the option. This is really cute. I can't see how much it is. I don't know. If you like it, it's cute. I, I think you'd wear it all the time. A pop of red purse is really good deal. Um, Thing to have in your closet. Next, we have a little pair of ballet flats. These are from Mi Piace. I've never heard of that brand. They're called the Bambi. I can't see how much these are either. They're just a plain black pair of ballet flats, but they're square toe. If you like them, obviously get them, but you're asking for my input. I would say just get a normal round toe pair of ballet flats. These feel like ones that when the ballet trend come, when the ballet flat trend comes back around, you're gonna think like, why did I get the square toe? They're just too much a sign of the times. Oh, just like very classic ballet flat will come back in style and you can, you know, re-wear it trend season after season, but the square toe ballet flats were like taking too many trends and putting them into one thing. So I would say, boy, Western boots. I love my cowboy boots. I used to wear them a lot more than I do now. I think I'm just like a mom now, so I can't be bothered to have to like use my hands to put on shoes. I think especially a black or brown pair, you're gonna be able to wear them so many different ways. I like styling them in like a very Western way, a very like cottage core, like outdoorsy way, but then also they can be worn in kind of like a cool girl, New York chic way. So what did any of that even mean? If you like cowboy boots, definitely get them. Get them secondhand though, because you can get real leather and they'll already be worn in, they'll feel like butter. Durango and Arctic something with an A are like my two favorites. Next we have this super cute plaid dress. I have no idea where it's from. I have no idea how much it costs, but it's like a little mock neck baby doll dress. This is so cute. I love it. I feel like you could pair it with dry riding boots. Like, oh my God, like such a cute horse girl aesthetic with this dress. Or you could wear it with cowboy boots, or you could wear it with Mary Jane's, ballet flats, sneakers. 
get this dress. I love it. I want it. Send it. Next, we have some little red pinstripe pants. I have some pretty similar pinstripe pants like this. I don't know where these are from. They're 59 euros. And I really like that they have a tie in the front. I feel like that's such an underrated addition to a pinstripe pant like this because otherwise they can feel very pajama-y. Add that little tie and they feel more like a linen pant. They also have pockets. 59 euros is kind of expensive, but this feels like something you could style so many different ways and you would wear all the time. I want these. These were so silly to me, so I had to show them. Slide on Onitsukas, and so many people talk about Onitsukas. These are like mesh slide on Onitsukas, and I, okay, I see where they're from. They're from Kicks Crew. These are so weird that I actually really like them and I would wear them. They feel like something I would wear in like the third grade. I feel like I had these, like the Puma version or something. These are super cool. Be careful with uh, <laughs> Kicks Crew though. I'm gonna look it up more and put on screen if I'm I'm right about this. But if any of you have ever bought stuff on Kicks Crew too, let us know how it goes. Okay, Crocs specifically platform crocs i don't know if i'm just like too old for crocs because i see all the high schoolers wearing crocs and like when brandon goes to substitute teach he says all the kids are wearing crocs in an ironic way is it a post malone way do i not understand these are platform crocs no i just don't get it i don't like them my daughter has crocs she's one and a half and like, I think that's adorable. Hers are purple sparkly Crocs. Like, I don't know, like 60 bucks for like gardening shoes. I feel like if you want a gardening shoe, like get the true gardening shoe. I don't know, I don't like Crocs. I've never seen them styled in a way I like either. I'm sorry. Unless you're like going to the pool or the beach. But then why are they platform? I don't know, it like is above my head. I, I don't get it. Next we have this pair of Adidas Gazelles. I love this dark blue and baby blue colorway definitely cop i don't care if they're super trendy i don't care if anyone ha everyone has them when i'm due for my next sneaker i think i'm getting these okay these doc martens are like a slip-on with a little back heel and i have the Hor jorge george is it george i think they're george is how it's pronounced oh my god these are three thousand dollars oh wait a second these are three thousand dollars which is what it says do not get them what the heck i don't know if i've ever been failed so hard by my equipment also a storm so i'm like fighting that i really like these dark martins and apparently everyone else really does too mine don't have this front buckle on them so i think that's why they weren't three thousand dollars i like the front buckle better but this little red dress is so cute i think it's from zara though it's so cute zara does have really cute stuff but the quality is just absolutely trash garbage just like everything around is trash garbage about it so oh, it sucks that that's so cute try and find it second hand so you're not paying 50 bucks because i bet it will just fall apart okay these boots with the contrast stitching they said they're like a butter yellow a vintage butter yellow about 50 usd i think these are so cool they remind me of like a mista boot i think these would be such a cool addition i love the height of these boots as well and the heel height they feel like they could be worn every day they could be worn in the summer in the fall in the winter in the spring if you don't buy these send them to me and if they're they also have to be an eight and a half send them to me because i literally want them like these would be such a cute boot with like floral sundresses oh my god but then also like obviously with jeans with skirts denim skirts next one we have vans mary janes i've looked at these before because i want to buy a matching pair with my daughter and i want us both to wear them because i think it's cute i think that they're really cute if you like always wear a sneaker but you want to venture off into wearing a different style shoe this is like a good gateway a gateway drug into different <laughs> shoes I think they're so cute and they seem like they'd be comfy because it's basically like a sneaker. Obviously you can style them any way you style a sneaker or a Mary Jane-esque shoe. I really like them. And that was my last one. So that's it for this video guys. Remember to click the link in the description box and check out Desenio. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in a few days. I love you. Bye.